If I'm fifth pick, then I'll counter pick with, you know, whatever I think is best. If I'm not the absolute last pick in the game, I'm gonna first pick blind pick, something that should be going mid, like Auction, for example. In this game, I do solo the Scion who did counter pick me. I'm pretty happy about that. My mid does get solo kill twice, and my jungle is getting owned by Graves. So we're just gonna go next game. Let's we'll chalk this one down to bad luck because I shouldn't be getting counter picked. And mid and jungle also, I guess, got counter picked because they're losing. This next lobby, the ADC will not give me a last pick. So I first pick blind pick Vayne. The enemy thinks is Vayne ADC. They counter me with Zyra Kate, and Kate is pretty good against Vayne, I think, because she can just poke her out. What's cool about this lobby is not only did my ADC get to counter pick their counter pick to me, so he basically got a super counter pick if you want to think of it that way because he wouldn't have been playing Kate probably if he didn't see the Vayne. I also got one of the most ideal lanes for Vayne top, which is pretty much any melee that doesn't have good poke. Wow. Somehow, I'm not able to flash Ghost away from the Shaco gank. And it's kind of crazy that he ganked at that time because I just used my E to deny the Uder a cannon. And the Shaco is just there. Shaco also, I guess, had already ganked bottom because the Kaisa's already died. I'm not sure he managed to gank top and bottom in that time and how he managed to get there right as my E was down. I should just flash right away though, in hindsight. Bot dies again to another Shaco gank. And in hindsight, they both countered. So basically, it's up to them to not do that. As soon as Shaco was like 6-0, I started running down that game and Victor added me after the game I said GG and then I'm not sure what he's saying here and I can't do anything with the chat because we have a 500 million dollar a year development team creating these client bugs that are actually going to prevent me from even locking in <laughs> so Victor actually wins pretty hard here I'm not sure what he DM me but maybe it was something that you know prevents me from locking in my champion I can't like there's nothing I can do actually have to dodge there's no way this is a thing dude like i can't click anything i'm trying to minimize out of the chat i clicked everything that i possibly could think of he actually wins so hard here because i already dodged one lobby so i have to wait 30 minutes like <laughs> what is this client though 500 million dollars a year by the way moving in the next game i'm trying to explain what happened in the last game and i'm also trying to fight this guy which leads to a pretty awkward fight holy crap after that reset, pick up a Cloth, Armor, and Doran Shield because I had the perfect amount of money for those items. I feel like Doran Shield's pretty good if you're playing against anything that has poke, like Olaf has poke. And though he has an XP advantage, I have an item advantage. Also, do note my movement speed towards him with Approach Velocity. So my pillar slows, and Approach Velocity gives me more movement speed towards whatever I slow. So he kind of can't really run away. Do also note, I was third pick this game, but I saw the Olaf and the fact that he banned Teemo. So I was pretty sure it was Olaf top. I haven't seen many Olaf jungles. You're not gonna win this, there's no way. Yeah, the first one I wasn't too sure of, the second one I was pretty sure of, and that one I was very sure of. It looked like I had a lot of HP at the end because the passive heals you based on how much HP nearby units have when they die, so I get a ton of health from nearby champ kills. I've got a really cool idea for a trundle build this game, Iceborne Gauntlet to slow enemies. It's really good for dueling as well. Plus, Approach Velocity gives you movement speed towards whatever is slowed. Also, getting a Chain Vest this early against Vi and Olaf is going to allow me to 1v2 potentially. Like I won't die to any ganks. He ulted already. Weir's here. You guys know ult. Uh, okay, don't die. We'll probably dive after, and then I still have full HP. This is much more terrifying than like me diving and then, you know. Okay, I'm not sure what he's doing there. Why would you run that way when you can just walk to me? This guy can't kill me, by the way. Please get out of tower range. And, but. Okay, good. Yeah, you're just kind of through that whole situation. He threw what was a free double kill or free tower dive. And after that, I get a super quick Iceborne Gauntlet. Holy crap. On top of all the other items I have, like, what the heck is this feed? I have a 450 bounty on my head on top of the 300 I'm already worth. I don't know why this just doesn't say the total amount you're worth, because it says awards 450 gold, but it actually awards 750. I think this guy might be dead, by the way. He probably used everything in the last fight. He hasn't ghosted yet. I don't have my uh, R yet. Pop him. I need an R. No. 
The idea with Olaf is he has a lot of attack speed and conquer. And the idea with Trundle is you don't actually want to all in something like that. If we were even, I want to just keep poking him when my Q's up, when I have grass procs as well. The Yasuo has been complaining about our jungle. The team fights a very bad fight, but uh, we have super fed Trundle hero here who might save the day. It's worth potentially, well, I don't want to say it's worth potentially dying for this. Help this guy doesn't have R. This is actually really bad. I think we lose off of that. I don't know why Yasuo is not there with me. He's got to be farming bot. And uh, Uder just died. And Uder is going a full damage build, which makes no sense when we have... Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone top. But it's a freaking fire drag. I just gave someone a fat spree too. Lux, 850 gold. And the guy was already super fed. He was already 314. Like I was 5-0, but I don't even know if 5-0 is as much gold as 314. And the Vi has definitely got more gold than me. That's crazy that my team's feeding harder than a running down Olaf player. And I'm a third pick Trundle. I'm not, you know, last picking this game or something. Like these teammates that I'm getting on this account just suck. Like there's nothing else to say about it other then they're just hot garbage. Every game they've just been hot garbage. Three in a row. Holy Jesus. What is that? The Mumu's just bottom. Even though we have no tower bottom, there's no reason to be bottom. He's just gonna go bottom. So it's a 4v. All I need is my teammates to be here and be alive and have hands. So resetting. It's a 4v3 for no reason. Like a Mumu should be here. And it's just obvious if you play the game more than you know. Just kill the brand, please. He sees everything on me. Thank you. Kill this thing now. If uh, Mumu would just show up today. If Mumu would just show up. This guy's flash, of course. If Mumu would just show up. All right, we're just going next. The Mumu just can't come to the fight when we have no tower bottom. There's no reason for him to be bottom. So this next game, our Akshan was planning on second picking Akshan, so I swapped him. We weren't gonna get the 10th pick anyways, so I wasn't gonna get the counter off. I asked him if I could go mid. Dude does not say anything for the entire lobby. And then at the very end, he says, yes, you can go mid. And then as the game starts, he says, I want mid. One thing I will say about this Cass versus Teemo lane is if he doesn't play it right, I think Cass will actually win. So I can block magic damage. I think press the attack is not good as well. He hasn't got a single pressy attack proc, and holy crap, Ezreal dies to Blitz. It's not something that should even be possible. Ezreal can essence shift out of Blitz's hook. It works in freaking work though. This guy is 1v9 Warwick. He has no teammates, and the invade went horribly. He had a flash away from the Blitz, and you know, there's just nothing he has to be positive about with his team. But he somehow managed to make the enemies in 0 3 0. Kills mid again, and the dude is 5 0 1, and we have 6 kills. So he's been involved in every single kill. One thing I will also say with Teemo in this lane is probably should not go Ignite, because as long as I just don't all in him, Ignite is very bad when it comes to lane power. Like if you think about it, if he ignites me, that's what, 200 HP? Whereas if I TP back, that's 1200 HP. I'm trying to push this in as fast as I can. I don't care about damaging him really. We're wasting uh, Oryx time right now. It creeps aggro on him. He's probably dead. Oh, he's done so. Big shutdown for the Teemo player. I feel like I went to Teemo and not anyone else though, I will say. I'm not worried about Teemo scaling. Not with that pressy attack garbage build. Pressy attack's okay against some champions, but not... Why is there a blitz in my lane? <laughs> I guess the way this account's going, it's just something we should be expecting. Zen just gets to watch as this guy does Herald too. Beautiful. i to help him with this. Come on, come on. This guy too. Go for this guy as well. Syndra and Zen are mid is the only problem. Enough mana? No, I don't. I knew that there was that many people mid. I guess we're in their freaking shutdown too, by the way. I uh R's ready to be used at half a second. Oh man, really? Come on, R away. Oh man. We got Butter, that's good. 
They're wasting their time too. Anytime two are chasing you for that long, it's good. Wardic's walking back and then he gets to form his jungle. And then Akshan's gonna get back to lean. We're getting close to Rod. It's gonna get to a position where the team is just gonna get run down. And uh, yeah, he hasn't got a single pressy attack proc off on me. I don't think. I had the ability to choose if I'm gonna allow him to press the attack on me is never good like if i'm able to just walk up q him and then back off and he's trying to you know get an auto off to press the attack me and then his damage over time is blocked by my q shield you don't have to fight that so blitz just loses all of his hp and is ignited as well and he actually ended up dying to centaur Senna double kills he was not even aiming for that guy i think i think i'm at critical mass now where i can just run this guy down we're gonna get my e on him there so get hit by the whatchamacallits. Missed my whatchamacallit. He finally did press the attack me. I'm not gonna run him down there. I just got Rod of Ages and it has no stacks yet. So we're not gonna worry too much about, you know, where our power level is right now. I can still poke the guy out, but I just can't, you know, run him down. He rushed in Nashers as well, which is quite a bit of damage. It's good sustained damage, but not good poke. And I have way better poke, as you can see. As long as I just don't run at him and, you know, dive on him. Which is what he really desperately wants me to do. <laughs> okay, that wasn't even close. He hooked a minion into a mushroom as well. It's kind of funny. I'm just gonna flash that, it's fine. I'm fine with that. Got flash from that guy. That guy might be dead. Oh dang, he missed. Close. Guy's dead though. I like the way Warwick played that. He knew that Zen was gonna die, keeps going. Good flash. Oh, this guy is uh, living up to his name. And already, finally, freaking A.